companies that deals with blockchain. Not so long ago I went through the path of becoming data analyst and frankly speaking I'm still doing that. So in this video I want to share some advices that I personally use and tell what I was learning during this way. So in other words let's discuss how to become data analyst. My video set up for today flowers, books and laptop. First, no matter what professional goal you start to pursue, it's important to have a precise plan of action. So what I did first, I created a learning plan and actually it was a good idea, as you're able to understand what steps should be considered and in what order, what hard skills should be obtained and how much time you need. So I would recommend you to start with a learning plan or mind map. skills is of paramount importance as you can't even get an entry-level job without some basic technical knowledge as data analyst is someone who uses these skills. I got my first job, well actually it was an internship when I was in the third year of university and even then I passed through four stages of interviews and two of them tested my hard skills. Oh my god! Referring to learning plan, as for me, I personally use notions as you're able to organize the space as you like. So let's see. Uh, I have simple table and here I have some additional resources for learning, like some articles, website for calculation, etc. Currently, and currently I am on Python stage and ML basis. Okay, let's take a glance. What should we learn and know to become data analyst? Whether you're learning through degree program, professional certificate or on your own, there are some essential skills that you will need to get hired. First, I would recommend you to start with the math so that in your future your manager doesn't check your calculation or double check formulas when reviewing your result. When I say math, I mean basic school program, everything that we learn in school and college like formulas, equations, algebra, etc. Second is linear algebra, it's about vector and matrix operations and functions. One requirement would certainly be a knowledge of matrices and basic operation with them as it's used in data preprocessing, data transformation and model evaluation. Okay, the simplest, the data set that you work with are uh, often represented as metrics. The last but not least, statistics and probability theory. To make sense of data, you need to deal with some kind of unfraternity coming with data itself. So the main goal of statistic and probability theory is to provide a framework to deal with this uncertainty. So it's important to understand the sense of statistics indicators, know how to build hypotheses, how to check them, how to make A-B testing, etc. Another huge part of needed knowledge is technical skills. The first one is Excel. And if you think of Excel, the first thing that comes to your mind is likely a spreadsheet, but actually there is a lot more analysis power under the hood of this tool. And I should say, if you have some experience with Excel, uh, it's definitely a plus. So I started with it as I learned Excel in the university and it really helped me to build some logic in writing formulas. Uh, lately I use this in algorithm and it gave me some basic understanding of visualization and programming if you work with VBA. The second one is SQL or SQL. This is the most commonly used data analysis tool. The majority of world's data is stored in the data set, so learning SQL will enable you to access and uh, analyze this data with ease. It is a ubiquitous uh, industry standard database language and is possibly the most important skills for data analysis to know. This language often called as advanced version of Excel as it can handle large data sets that Excel simply can't. So you will need to understand basic SQL syntaxes like select, from, where, know how to filter data, how to make aggregations. 
So one more time, it's probably the most important skill that for data analysts to know. Before looking for a data analyst job, I learned SQL. It took me one month. I went to one or two courses on Udemy platform and I tried to practice with the real data on some educational sites and it helped me to get hired. You did it! I so as you see, I found a job knowing only Excel, basic math and SQL. However, after two, three months of work, I realized that it's not enough. As I was not able to automate some tasks, I still needed to use Excel a lot and what is more important, I couldn't get more interesting tasks. So I started to learn Python and I still continue doing that. And on my 10th lesson, I wrote my first parser. So guys, also in this video, I want to show you some books that I read this month. And the first one is Statistics and Cats. Yeah, it's in Russian and probably you can't find it in English, but I just want to tell you that it's great. The main statistical indicators are explained in simple language and on an example of cats. It's really great. <laughs> Also, I started to read Russian classical literature, you can find it in English, and I will write down in the description what I recommend you to read. So, as you see, I'm still trying to follow the rules that I told you about in the productivity video, here is a link, uh, to learn something new every day, and I still continue doing that. thing that I want to tell you about. To truly work as data analyst, you'll need to go beyond SQL and master at least one programming language. Okay, if you don't like Python or R, you may use another one like Java or Scala, etc. Uh, but in my case, it's Python. So like SQL, Python or R can handle what Excel can't. They are powerful statistical programming languages used to perform advanced analysis and predictive analytics on big data sets and they are both like Python and R industry standard. Frankly speaking, Python sometimes makes me crazy, especially machine learning topics. Important note that we should remember, and I sometimes repeat this to myself, Data analysis is not required to program as a developer, but we shouldn't have technical blockers to solve business problems. So Mass, Excel, SQL, Python or R are the main skills that you need to obtain to become data analyst. Of course, there are many different paths to a career, but we should move on, we should put all our efforts and we will achieve. Let's do it together! If you have any questions, please write down in the comments below. I'm going to discuss some other topics on data analysis. So if you're interested, please hit the subscribe button below. And I will see you soon in the next video.